Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we're doing here is we're dividing by decimals, except this time our decimal is a divisor. But we don't like that. We don't want to divide with decimals as a divisor. We'd want our divisor to be a whole number. So uh, we need to convert things and change things a little bit. So let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do is to show this particular problem as a fraction. So 35.7 over 0 0.07. So this is the division symbol, and this is the division bar or fraction bar. And that's how I'm going to begin. This is the guy that I have a problem with right now. This guy right now is a decimal, and I would like for him or her to become a whole number. So what I'm actually going to do here, I'm going to make take this 7. I'm going to have it gain two place values. I want that 7 to be in the ones place. In order for that to happen, I need to multiply this thing, this particular number, by 100. But I do not want to change the value of the question. So, which means if I'm going to increase the value of that 7 by two place values, I need to do the same thing to each of the values up top in the numerator. Okay? Best way to do that is to multiply the top by 100 at the same time. Now, I have two things I just did here that are really going to work out for me. Number one, by the time I'm done, that 7 in the hundredths place is going to wind up going to the tenths, and then the ones place. Uh, now it's a whole number. That's good news. This, uh, this guy over here is now everything's going to gain two place values as well. So I'm going to wind up with 3570 or 3570. That's a great thing. Now, what's up with this guy compared to this guy? They're actually equivalent. And why? Because I multiplied by 100 over 100. Now, 100 over 100, like any number divided by itself, equals 1. And if I'm multiplying something by 1, uh, the identity property tells me that the value of what I'm starting with just doesn't change. So the value of this guy and the value of this guy are identical, which means if I'm going to divide this guy over here, guess what? I'm going to get the same answer I should have from the original problem. Okay, so basically what happens here, here's my new problem. So if I was to divide this, my quotient would be the same is if I divided this, and I'd much rather divide this guy, okay? So that's the deal. My divisor is now a, uh, or my um, denominator is now a whole number, and I'm set to go. So that was part one of what we did today. Let's do another one real quick so you can see it. Here we go. Let's try red. So this guy here, I'm going to set him up as a fraction. And in this case, I only need to gain one place value for this guy. This guy's, the 6 is in the tenths place. I want it in the ones place. So in this case, I'm going to divide by 10 over 10. Again, that equals 1. I'm multiplying something by 1, so I'm not changing the value. That 6 winds up in the ones place. And everything here gains a place value as well. Only one place value because I'm multiplying by 10. So 4, 8, 6, 1, point 2. So that is my new problem. Okay? I don't even have to solve them, but uh, because that's the directions just want me to set up the new problem. Now down below, now we're going to actually solve one. So we have some nice problems over here. Uh, let's deal with number eight right down here. So I'm going to rewrite that guy. So uh, that's a big old problem, by the way, but that's okay. I think we'll, I think we can handle it. So nine and nine and four point one four divided by 18.9, everything's going to gain one place value. I only need one place value to get this into a whole number range. So I have 189 and everything there, 9941.4, and that's my new problem, okay? So 189 into 9941.4, and I'm gonna start off with my estimate. So this guy here is about 200. And this guy over here, I can make about, what, 10,000? And it's about 10,000. So drop two place values there. This goes with this guy. My estimate's about 50. OK? Starting off pretty good here. So let's see. So 189 goes into 9 zero times. It goes into 99 zero times. But it does go into 994 some amount of times here. So this is my little estimation over here. So my my division problem, oops, got the 9. Hang on here. So my 189 into 994. There you go. 
going to run my estimate, 200 into 1,000. Okay, get rid of these guys, get rid of these guys. Two goes into 10, five times. So there's my target, 189 times 5. So 5 times 9, 45. Okay, that's 44. And that's a 9, 945. That's going to work five times. I'm loving this little trick here. Okay, this little estimation here. Love this area. It really helps me out. So 9, 8, and that's a 9, and that's a 4. Bring down my 1. Now we need to figure that one out. So down under here, I'm going to do again 189, my brand new division problem. 189 into 491. I'm going to run an estimate. So that's 200 into, let's say, 600. Okay, drop these, drop these. That's going to go three times. So 189 times 3. That's a 27, 24, 25, 26. And that's 567, too high. So, oh well. Let's try two. So 18, 16, 17 to 378. So that's going to work. 378. And I get an 8 there. And that's a 3. And that's a 1. And that's a 1. I'm going to bring down this 4. Now this whole thing is intense. Okay, 1134. So I have my 189 into my 1134. And I'm going to estimate 200 into, let's say, 1200. Get rid of those guys. Two goes into 12 six times. So I'm going to run six. So let's see, 189 times six. So that's 54. 48 plus 5, 48 plus 5, 48, 50, 53. And 5 times 6 is 5, plus 5, 11. 1134. Ooh, perfect. So there we go. There we go. So that's 1134 tenths. Okay. That goes 6 tenths times. And there you have it. So 52.6. Okay, so... All because of this guy right here, getting rid of that whole, uh, that fr uh, decimal, turning it into a whole number so that I can divide. Okay? Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.